Hey everybody, welcome back to Print and Play. And today we're going to be looking at building a pretty simple proximity alarm using an ultrasonic sensor and a couple of additional components connected up to your Pico. So if you're ready to see how this project works, let's jump to the breadboard. Before I get started, I want to thank eagle-eyed viewer Augustin Gutierrez for pointing out that the previous wiring diagram for this would have ended up dumping 5 volts into the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi Pico, which could damage it over time. So we're going to make some modifications in this version, and it'll be nice and safe. So thanks again, Augustin. For this project, we're going to need our Raspberry Pi Pico, our ultrasonic sensor, a piezo speaker, as well as a 2.2K and a 3.3K resistor. Then we'll go ahead and wire it up like this wiring diagram shows. And now we can go ahead and start installing everything in the breadboard. And with our circuit wired, we should be able to connect USB power and test run our code. And here we have the test code for our ultrasonic sensor. So the way this works is the code is going to send a pulse out through one side of the sensor. That pulse will go out, hit an object, and then bounce back. So we'll send out a pulse, then we'll wait and count how long it takes it to get back to the other side of the sensor. We can then divide that by one half to figure out how far one trip distance was. And we can calculate that based on the speed of sound since this is sending out an ultrasonic pulse. So essentially what the code does is execute the check distance subroutine, which is what actually sends out the pulse, counts the amount of time and receives it back. And then we loop through that and that value is used to determine how quickly the speaker will pulse. So if we go ahead and execute this code, we start getting a constant pulse, but if we start moving the object closer to the sensor, the time between pulses decreases to let you know that you've gotten closer to the object. Move it away again and the time between pulses increases. And it really is that simple. You can take this function and drop it anywhere in your code and then use it to check the distances between objects. And you could then use that to build a self-driving car that has the ability to avoid obstacles or even adding a backup sensor to your actual car. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at connecting an ultrasonic sensor to your Raspberry Pi Pico. If you did, make sure to check out one of my other Pico videos. You're bound to find something you'll enjoy there as well. If you have an idea for another sensor you'd like to see me try out on the Pico in the future, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay creative.